John Galusha lived in upstate New York, so imagine just looking at the map. There's Montreal up here, and here's New York, and other Adirondack Mountains up there. And he lived in Minerva Township, right in way, way, way back in the mountains. Born in 1859, knew lots and lots of old songs. And uh, one of the songs that he sang was, uh, as far as I can tell, was the first song that was written in English that anybody remembered, bothered to remember in the oral tradition from a true story that happened in uh, 1761, a man named Timothy Meyer who went out to cut the father's field and was bitten by a snake. One person in the history of Massachusetts has died from rattlesnake bite. This is the guy, Timothy Meyer, Wilbraham, Massachusetts, 1761. <laughs> At the time, it's hard, hard to imagine now, but 1761, the treaty between France and England hadn't been signed yet, so the French and Indian War, what, what you call the Seven Years' War, we call French and Indian War, wasn't over yet, technically. The fighting was over, but even so, if you got too far west, you ran the risk of running into French population and Iroquois population. It was risky business. And so he was probably prepared for everything except for that rattlesnake in the field. So, bitten by the rattlesnake, somebody sat down to write a song about what could happen to you if you weren't careful about rattlesnake, and that song traveled just about every, more than any song in the American language, that song traveled. So you might have guessed that it would be Barbara Allen that did all that trouble, but in fact it was Springfield Mountain, which just about everywhere. So I want to sing you John Galusha's version of it. I want to sing you maybe because we would start throwing things if I sang more than one version of it. But uh, this is what this is John Galusha. This is pretty much the way he sounded. Uh, the tune I'm singing. It's a long story. Frank Warner didn't have a collecting machine. What he had was his memory. He couldn't quite remember what uh, John Galusha sang to this tune, or sang <coughs> to the song, sang this tune. So this is John Galusha, but with Frank Warner's tune. Got that? It will be a yes, test. <laughs> Just coming right up. On Springfield Mountain there did dwell a likely youth I know full well. Lieutenant Cushman's his only son, a likely youth, scarce twenty-one. One Monday's morning he did go out in the meadow for to mow. He had not mowed quite around the field when a cruel serpent took his heel. When he received his death lie wound, he laid his scythe down on the ground. To return home was his intent crying aloud long as he went. His voice was heard both far and near, but none unto him did there appear, thinking that he some workman called poor boy alone at last did fall. It was in the year 1761 <coughs> that this sad accident was done. Let this a warning be to all to be prepared when God doth call. <laughs> <laughs> so, what year was that? 1761. <laughs> so, that song traveled west. You could just imagine. Uh, I mean, you know, you know how much English songs change just going from one county to the next. And American songs. People went, left Massachusetts, went to the Adirondacks, went west on the Erie Canal, went west on the Great Lakes, went west on the Ohio and the Erie Canal, floated down the Ohio River, took a steamboat up the Mississippi, took a, a pole boat up, up the Missouri River, got on horseback, went across the West Island. All that, you can just imagine happened the song. So the cowboys, when they got a hold of the song, they sang, in about 1865 or so, they sang, a nice young man went well, lived on the hill, well, well, a nice young man went well, I knew him well, 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 come rocking to the re. He had no mow, well, well, come round the field, we will, the crew will snail, we will, and I'm on the hill, we will, come rocking to the re. It's a pretty dumb song. <laughs> <laughs> and that, because it made its way onto the minstrel stage and the vaudeville stage and all kinds of reasons. So people were singing sad versions, funny versions. It worked its way out to California and uh, in the 1840s. 1840s, uh, Leif Todd and Robert Sonkin were collecting Oki songs in California, and they came on probably what is the, the best version of the song. As I went down to the Moen field, I went down to the Moen field, fod. As I went down to the Moen field, a big black snake bit me on the heel, to Raleigh Day. But I'm not going to sing that one. <laughs> just, just to be perverse. This, uh, this one comes from only travel a few months went east and went to Taunton, Massachusetts. Remember it in, in one family, the Hubbard family. 
uh, sang it for decades and decades and generations and generations, and it was written down about 1920 or so. And so it's the same song, but different. I'll play spoon. Your part just said, I'll, I'll sing, on yonder's mountain there to dwell. And you sing, turrily, 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 turrily. I'll sing, a nice young man I knew him well. And you sing, a turrily, I lay. All right. Young man, I knew him well. A turtle to relay. As he was going around the field, turtle to relay, turtle to relay. Big black snake bit him on the heel. Turtle to relay. Well, he went in the meadow for to mow. Turtle to relay. He went in the meadow for to mow. Turtle to relay. Already, but that's all right. As he was going around the field, big black snake bit him on the heel. Well, he lay sick and got sick, lay down and died. The bite of the snake on the mountainside. Mountain there to dwell. 